Hello there and welcome. When testing radio transmitters, basically what you do is uh, you have your radio here, your transmitter here, and uh, you inject an audio signal. It's typically one kilohertz, but it could be uh, other uh, other things as well. Um, and then on the antenna output, you connect all your test instruments. For example, a frequency counter, uh, a power meter, uh, and otherwise a demodulator. Uh, and if you have a really good demodulator, you will get your audio out and you can do a comparison between what you send in and what you send out. So uh, using this uh, method here you can measure for example uh, um, signal to noise ratio and the sign add and uh, of course the transmit power and the transmit frequency and uh, you can measure stuff like how much uh, the frequency drifts. So uh, using this kind of setup you have quite a good idea about what your transmitter does. And uh, during the design stage of radio transmitters, these parameters like a frequency drift and power and uh, stuff like that, uh, signal to noise, uh, sign add, is a uh, very important parameters. So uh, this kind of setup is uh, very very useful. Likewise, when you want to test uh, receivers, you do basically the same, but uh, the other way around. Uh, here is my device under test, the radio receiver, and uh, we have the output from the receiver, of course, which is uh, audio. Uh, then to test it you have over here an RF oscillator which is very very clean you have a modulator uh, it could be FM, AM, uh, PM, quadrature modulation and whatever and the power amplifier and then you send it uh, to your receiver here and again you can compare what uh, audio you send in uh, to what you get out and uh, using this method again you can test stuff like a uh, frequency drift in the radio receiver you can test the quality of the demodulator and uh, you can test sensitivity. Uh, you can turn down the volume here lower and lower and lower and lower until you get uh, the signal to noise ratio on the output that uh, is required. So uh, using these two setups, the receive setup up here and the transmit setup here, you can basically test everything uh, that is worth testing in a radio link. And the reason I talk about this in this video is because I received a radio tester today. And uh, basically, it can do everything that we have here um, in one nice box. And uh, what it has inside is an RF signal generator from uh, 400 kilohertz to uh, 1 gigahertz. Uh, that should be an M here. So from 400 kilohertz to, uh, to 1 gigahertz. And it can modulate using FM, AM and phase modulation. It has audio frequency generators, so the signal that you want to inject, the audio signal that you want to compare with, can be generated by the box itself. Then it has a frequency counter, a power meter, modulation meter, distortion meter, noise meter, an audio frequency meter, an audio frequency um, voltmeter, a 10 MHz frequency standard, an audio frequency oscilloscope, uh, various tone decoders and tone encoders, DTMF tone decoders and encoders. It has a 600 ohm output, so it also can test telephone circuits. Then it has DCS encoders and the POCSAC pager encoder. So you can see it's a little bit outdated in that it doesn't support uh, quadrature amplitude modulation, QAM uh, modulation, but otherwise it's a very, uh, very complete system. And I got it yesterday from uh, a company that had already uh, amortized it and they didn't use it anymore. And uh, I got it for zero dollars, absolutely free. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I just got it home. I think the first thing I want to do is uh, run a self-test. It has, of course, a built-in self-test. And uh, after that, I'm just going to show you some of the capabilities. I don't have a radio transmitter or a radio receiver at hand. Uh, so it will just be a very, very brief overview of this uh, machine. And uh, I think this video is just basically to show that I got this thing, this amazing thing for free. And I'm very excited about that. But I am a ham operator and later on I will build some uh, simple transmitters and receivers. And uh, we can do a, a video about that, uh, how to build them. And uh, we can do some tests here on this machine to see what the performance is. And uh, maybe later on, if I have the time, we can take a look at how to improve uh, on the quality of those transmitters and receivers. But uh, anyway, uh, let's just run the self-test uh, first. And we do that by pressing self-test and all tests and it's probably going to take a while so uh, I think in the video I'll just fast forward
So you see everything passed is a fully working machine and I'm really really excited about it. It doesn't do quadrature amplitude modulation which is a shame but uh, I think using some external uh, modulator uh, we can get it to do that as well. So uh, in the future I think we'll have some fun with this machine. I find the user interface a little bit clunky but uh, basically what it can do is uh, we can do transmitter tests so uh, we will connect the transmitter to this uh, input uh, down here and we will uh, send out audio from an audio generator. So the audio comes out of this machine, goes into the transmitter and it goes back in here. So uh, in this way we can test the full path of the transmitter all the way from the audio input uh, and then over here what comes into the machine will be the uh, antenna uh, output from the, from the transmitter. So we can immediately see here on screen we can test the transmitter frequency, the output power, modulation frequency, the modulation level and um, we have some different frequency generators here that we can use, of course, uh, for the audio output. And uh, right now it's a hundred. Uh, sorry, right, right now it's one kilohertz uh, at hundred millivolts. Can of course also measure sinus and distortion either or. Okay, so that was a transmitter testing. We can of course also test the receiver. And uh, in this mode, we are sending out RF signals from this machine using the same connectors, and uh, then through the radio receiver and uh, back into uh, this connector here. So uh, using this method we can test stuff like signal noise, uh, different frequencies, we can test so, yeah, signal noise, cyanide, we can test distortion, we can test different modulation levels and uh, the next test is duplex testing and uh, in that way we can test the receiver and the transmitter at the same time. So if you have some uh, duplex uh, radio that can both broadcast and receive at the same time, you can test it here. And uh, yeah, same thing applies, you have uh, antenna in and out. There are different audio tones, as I said, we can uh, send out different frequencies and we can mix them together. So we can also get some uh, intermodulation distortion measurements. We have a little uh, oscilloscope down here, so we can see the audio uh, coming out of the receiver, for example. So that is quite interesting. And uh, I think that's about it. That's it. Then you can hold the display and uh, and, and you can get help online. Uh, as I said, the user interface is a little bit clunky, but uh, I mean, I'm really happy this thing can do everything that uh, a ham operator needs, basically. Uh, except for Quam, but I think I can uh, find a workaround for that. So yeah, there's not much uh, technical information in this video. It's more of a kind of a show-off uh, that I got this thing for, for absolutely nothing. But anyway, uh, I think we will have fun with this machine in the future videos. So yeah, just a quick one. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you again real soon.